People sometimes here in the U.S. think ska bands died, but it grew in other parts of the world. And then it leaked back into the Latin ska bands that we have in L.A. Most people in the rest of the world don't expect Latinos in L.A. to listen to ska music or even know about it, but it's what we do. My name is Clemente Ruiz. I'm a musician, producer. I'm also the guy behind the biggest ska punk events we have in LA. I grew up running around in the streets of Linwood, Compton, and Southgate. I got shot at a few times. I got mugged a few times. If I didn't have music and I didn't have the ska punk shows to go to, I don't know where I would have been. Latin ska punk has influences from all over the place. It's a genre that collects bits and pieces of everything from Jamaican reggae to hardcore to the Mexican Latin ska. It's just a clash of everything. Latin ska started popping up in LA in the mid late 90s. It was in the neighborhood. We had a hard time playing legitimate venues. That's kind of what sparked me having to organize some of these events because no one would do it for us. I think a lot of these Latino kids in the neighborhoods are attracted to ska music. The way people dance, the way people dress, they just find themselves in that. The rhythm really gets you going. It touches a lot of people. To a lot of these kids that go to our shows, it helps them find themselves. It makes them feel like they do belong to something. It's a very personal connection to them. 